Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In our today's session, we are going to create put away rules and put away priorities in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. A put away rules defines a warehouse assignment strategy for incoming stock. A put away rules is uniquely defined for an item warehouse combination in a company. It takes warehouse capacity and priority into the consideration. As we know that put away is a rule based system of moving item from received shipment to the right place in the warehouse. So in order to perform the put away processes in WMS, we have to create put away rules. And in the same way, we have to create the put away priorities. Put away priorities determines the order in which the put away types are triggered for the put away. So in our last session, we have already created the put away types. So in our today's session, first we will create the put away rules. After that, we will create the put away priorities. So let's move to the instance. So first we will create the rules. So search put away rules. So this is the put away rules task. Right. So we are going to create new one. So click on this create icon. Right. Now, so we have to define the priority here. Like uh, we have the priority one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to define the eight. Right. Now the description, we have to define the description over here. So let's enter the description for the put away rules, like mechanical, right? And this is the final put away type. We have already created the put away type in our last session. So let's select the put away 2023, right? And uh, this checkbox, determines if the rule is active or not, right? So click on this save. Now you can see over here, this is our put away rule. Priority is eight and description is mechanical, right? Now, once the put away rules has been created, the selection criteria must be created to define what the rule is searching for. You can see over here the default criteria. You can see the default criteria for our put away rule and you can change it. So select this record and click on this selection criteria. And you can see this is the complex operation. And in the same way, you can create the basic operation, right? First, we can change the SQL operator, like uh, this is the not in, in, and uh, greater than, equal to, greater than, and less than, equal to, or, and, right? So this is the SQL operator uh, for this complex operation. And in the same way, you can create the basic operation. So click on this insert basic operation. So we have to define the SQL operator like uh, or you can define the column name. You can see the column name. We have the multiple item fields. You can see and you can select as per a requirement like uh, we can select the item description over here. We have the item description. This is the item description. And this is the column value. So this will be the value based on the column na name selection. Suppose we have defined the bearing. So this is the SQL operator or this is the column name. And based on the column name, we are defined the value, column value. Right. So this is the basic operation 
And if you want to create some uh, complex operation, so click on this insert complex operation and we have to select the operator, SQL operator. And if you want to delete the rules, so in order to select the rules and click on this delete node, right? Click on save in order to uh, save the rules. So in this way, we can create the putaway rules in WMS Cloud. Now, our next task is create putaway priorities. So go to the putaway priority screen. So search putaway priority. Click on that. And uh, click on this create icon. And we have to fill some mandatory fields. So start from the first one that is put away type. So we have to select the put away type that will be used for the priority. And we have already created in our last session. So select the put away type PT2023. Priority from the Priority field, we can determine the order of the put away priority. So let's we add the first priority, right? And the location type, the location type that is used in the logic. Right? We have the two options first is active and second is reserve. Let's select the reserve. And uh, next one is location put type. So the location put type that will pair with the previously selected put away type. So we have to select the uh, location put away type. So this is our location put away type, which is already created in our last session, right? And replenishment shown. So when we select the location type as an active, then this field replenishment zone gets enabled. You can see. This is a reserve, but this field is not enabled. This field is disabled. When we select the active, it gets enabled over here. You can see. Let's go with the reserve. Right. Now our next field is put away method. The put away method is used by the location sequence or radial. We have two options: location sequence and the radial. So if the radial is the selected for the put away method, we select the radial, the radius field is required. And it defined the radius of the location that will be used during the put away logic process. Right. In the same way, if the radial is the put away method, so the radial increment is required and it defines the radius increment value in which the WMS will look for the location during the put away. Right now we go with the location sequence. And we have the storage priority. So we can put away inventory to a location that has a higher priority date than the incoming inventory so that the inventories with the lesser priority dates stay in the front of the inventories with the higher priority dates during the pickup. Right. So by default, the storage priority is blank. When we select the blank, when we go with the blank, the priority dates will not be considered for the put away priority records. And when we go with the lesser than or equal to the priority dates, it means you can put away the inventories with the lesser priority date than the location inventory expiry date. And this mode is suitable for the pushback regs. And when we go with the greater than or equal to the priority dates, it means you can put away the inventories with the higher expiry date than the location inventory expiry date.
and this mode is suitable for the gravity field racks. So select less than or equal to the priority dates. Right. And our last field is put away search mode. This defines how the warehouse management will determine a location for the put away. So we can go with the most empty by the LPNs and we can search the location by the matching stock keeping unit. You can check by clicking the checkbox, right? Now click on save. Reserve location required the location size type, right? We have to define the location put type. Click on that and we have to select this is our location uh, put away type, right? And click on save. Right. So you can see over here our put away priority gets created. You can see you can add it by the edit icon and you can delete by the delete icon, right? So this is how you can create a put away rule and the put away priorities in WMS Cloud. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.